In this video, uh, a ship moving with constant acceleration is travelling due east at a speed of 20 metres per second. After 30 seconds, it is travelling due south at 8 metres per second. Find the distance from its initial position after 30 seconds. OK, so we're going straight in with SUVAP. OK, so the speed initially okay, um, is 20 metres per second and it's going due east. OK, so what we can do is we can represent that either as a vector in component form, so 20i, or you could represent that as 20, 0. OK, it really depends on which you prefer. So it's 20i plus 0j, because we're just travelling 20 metres per second in the i direction and not moving up or down. So east going in the positive uh, direction to the right. After 30 seconds, so t is 30, it is travelling due south at 8 metres per second. So if it's travelling due south, then we're not travelling anything in the i direction, but we're travelling 8 metres per second in the j direction downwards. So minus 8j. So you could represent that using the vector 0 minus 8 if you preferred. OK. And then the acceleration, we don't know. The distance, the displacement, we don't know either. OK. So it's the displacement that I want. So I want the equation that doesn't have a in it. So that would be number 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with um, the i's and j's for the moment in this problem. OK. So I'm going to go with equation number 2. So s is equal to uh, 1 half u plus v times t. So s is equal to 1 half of u, 20i, plus v, so minus 8j, times by t, which is 30. So s is equal to... So we've got 1 half times 20 times 30, so that's 300i. And then we've got 1 half times minus 8 times 30. So minus 4 times 30 is minus 120. OK? So this represents the displacement of the ship. Um, so we want the distance. So the distance is the magnitude of this vector. So here is the ship at its initial position, OK? And after 30 seconds, it is 300 along and 120 down. So this is its position after 30 seconds. So we've gone 300 along and 120 down. OK, so its actual distance is the length of that hypotenuse. So the distance is equal to the modulus, the length of that vector, which is using Pythagoras 300 squared plus 120 squared square rooted. So square root 300 squared plus 120 squared is 60 root 29, which is 323 metres to three significant figures. OK? And that's how we can find the distance of that ship from uh, its initial position after 30 seconds.